What's up, Trojans? I'm Taylor. And I'm Tamia. And since this week is a Black History Show, we'll be informing you about historical black colleges or universities, also known as HBCUs. More people are becoming aware about HBCUs, and more students, such as myself, are enrolling every year. Let's get to it. Because of the Higher Education Act of 1965, HBCUs were founded and received federal funding. The very first HBCUs were Shiny University and Lincoln University in Pennsylvania and Ohio. HBCUs were predominant in the South following the abolition of slavery. HBCUs are actually open to all students regardless of race. They can be public or private for a year or two years. They also offer undergrad and graduate programs, bachelor's and associate degrees, and shorter credentials such as diplomas and certificates. Types of HBCUs include liberal arts colleges, Christian colleges, and technical colleges. There are even HBCU specialty schools for business, theology, and medical school. Statistics say that many of those who attend HBCUs receive many internships and job opportunities that allow them to excel once they graduate. HBCUs represent only 3% of American institutions of higher learning. Nearly 25% of all African Americans who earn bachelor's degree come from HBCUs. Most successful black engineers graduate from HBCUs. HBCUs have recently begun to thrive thanks to STEM majors, but also offer programs in fine arts, business, and education. One of the many HBCUs, Howard University, is where five of the Divine Nine were founded. The Divine Nine is a group of historically black Greek letter organizations that make up the National Pan-Hellenic Council. These organizations include Alpha Phi Alpha, Alpha Kappa Alpha, Kappa Alpha Psi, Omega Psi Phi, Delta Sigma Theta, Phi Beta Sigma, Zeta Phi Beta, Sigma Gamma Rho, and Iota Phi Theta. Other than sororities and fraternities and various other on-campus activities, HBCUs generously provide minority students with the opportunity to work with mentors of the same ethnic background as themselves succeeding in their field. That's all for us Trojans. I'm Tamia. And I'm Taylor. Now let's get back to Trojan TV.